Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get your assets onto different Ethereum layer tunes using something called a bridge. And you can send Ethereum or you can send different tokens, for example, USDC. Now, I'm gonna show you three examples of different bridges and three different layer twos. And you can use this exact same strategy for pretty much any different layer two out there, although some bridges have compatibility with some layer twos and others don't. So you have to find the right bridge and the right layer two that works for you. Okay, so getting right to it. These are the three bridges that I'm gonna show you as examples. Although, like I said, there's lots of other ones, but across orbiter and hop are three of the largest bridges. So when you're trying to get assets from the Ethereum mainnet to a layer two or between different layer twos, these are three great options for you to use. Now, they each have different benefits. So for example, the across bridge doesn't have integration with as many networks as the other ones. You can only bridge from ETH, BASE, Arbitrum, or Optimism. Now, in terms of networks that you can send it to, you can also send to the Polygon network, but you can't actually send from the Polygon network yet. But ACROSS is one of the largest bridges by volume and also probably one of the safest. So if you're just looking to do a basic bridge transaction from, for example, BASE to Optimism, then you can connect your wallet make sure that you switch to the correct network and then you'd be able to transfer. So you can see my wallet is connected here. So if I want to make this transfer, I select which asset I want to send, in this case ETH. I choose how much ETH I want to send. So if I hit the max, that's, you know, I have just a small amount of ETH in my base wallet right now. And I could send ETH from base to optimism for a fee of 0.00022 ETH, which as of the time of this recording costs about 36 cents US. So it's very cheap and reasonable. Now, if you're trying to bridge from the Ethereum mainnet, however, that is gonna be much more expensive. So for example, if I wanted to go from ETH mainnet to optimism, because there's different apps I wanna use on the optimism layer too, then this transaction, when I go to confirm it in my wallet is gonna cost a lot more because transactions on the Ethereum mainnet are more expensive. So this is gonna cost me over $3, almost four bucks. Now going over to Hop, this is another example, and this is one of the other most popular bridges out there. There's more networks that you can transfer to and from. So that is a useful feature if you wanted to transfer your assets to Polygon, Gnosis Chain, or Arbitrum Nova. They have a couple extra options here. And then you can transfer to those same networks. The process for doing so is exactly the same as on across. You select your from network, you select your to network. So in this case, let's say optimism. You choose how much ETH you wanna send. So let's say 0.01 ETH. And then you just hit the send button, confirm send, and it's gonna pop up in your Web3 wallet and ask you to confirm that transaction. And this one is gonna cost me about $6.60. So even more expensive than the across bridge sending from the Ethereum mainnet. And really that is one of the key takeaways here is that transferring from ETH mainnet to an Ethereum layer two is quite expensive. So I recommend doing it, you know, very infrequently and with a larger amount of money, just do one big transfer and that way you have your assets on layer twos. And then if you wanted to transfer from one layer two to another, then you could move your money around that way and it would be much, much cheaper instead of paying $6 for a transaction, you might pay 50 cents. Now, one other thing to note here is that sometimes you can get rewards. So for example, when you transfer from one chain to Optimism, they give you a small reward in terms of their OP token for doing that. Something to keep in mind. Now, the third and final bridge that I wanna talk about today is in my opinion, one of the better ones because they have a lot more networks available and they're also potentially going to have an airdrop at some point in the future across and hop are both very popular bridges but they've both already released their tokens so there's no real chance of a retroactive airdrop from those two bridges but orbiter hasn't released a token yet it's been speculated that they might and also i just really like the fact that they have so many different chains available so for example you can bridge from any of these different layer twos let's say zora to any of these different layer two. So in this case, let's say I wanted to transfer some ETH from base to ZK Sync era. I'd select my from network, my to network. I'd choose how much I wanna send. So let's try and send all of it. I'd hit send. Oh, first I have to switch my network. Then you confirm the transaction in your Web3 wallet. You can see that it's gonna cost me basically nothing. You know, a tiny, tiny fraction of not even one penny. So confirm the transaction and the ETH will send. 
And so that is how it works. You can use that exact same strategy to get your assets to any different Ethereum layer 2. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful and have yourself a great day.